Hello, welcome to Net at Work's Sage 100 Training Tips and Tricks series. Today, we're going to go over the overview of adding to your favorites menu. My name is Andrew Crane, and today I'll be leading you in this. As you know, in Sage, one of the menus we see has all the modules listed. Today, I'll go over both the standard and the classic menus. We are looking at the standard menu for Sage 2019. And although each module opens up and has all the features listed, oftentimes what you want to do is have a more restricted menu of just the items that you work with. Makes it easier to you, less cumbersome. And so, if I was in charge of customer maintenance and I wanted to add them to my favorites menu, simply right click the task and add to favorites. Now, below here, you see the, the modules listing and there's an, a star for the favorites listing. And you can see here I've added customer maintenance. I have also added outside from Sage, Firefox, Excel and Word. So if I chose strictly from the Sage menu, I can launch any of these applications. Now, if I'm also involved in invoice data entry, I can right click and add to favorites. Also, across the top of the menu, you see the modules, web content, and favorites. Those items are now, as we speak, getting listed up here. We also have the ability of moving these, and those were control bars. So let me add cash receipts, and you can see it's added below. I'm going to go back to the modules again, and perhaps I'm also involved with vendor maintenance. If I right click, I can add to favorites, and perhaps the same with invoice data entry. Now here you see I have cash receipts separate in, in the same category. I can drag and drop, and, and these are what we call separator bars. So insert a separator bar. If I choose, I can drag between those. So I have my customers and my uh, customer tasks, and then I have my vendor and my vendor tasks. You can also add folders and shortcuts that I've done up here. I'm going to exit Sage and log back in into what we call the classic. Now here under settings, I can actually change the view from standard to classic. Now this is the view that most people are used to seeing. And so if I click on and open up my modules and go to accounts receivable, you can see it opens up my tasks. And again, there are no favorites. There is no favorite module, but what we have are my tasks. And under My Tasks, I can create multiple folders. And inside the folder, I can rename that to, let's say, Accounts Receivable. And if in that, mo that folder I want to add tasks, I can add a new task. And in that new task, if I want to add accounts receivable under the main folder, I can add customer maintenance. So now inside that folder, I have customer maintenance. If I would like, I can add another task. And again, from accounts receivable, main, invoice data entry. And if I wanted to, I can create a new folder. And that new folder I can rename to, let's say, Accounts Payable. And again, if I choose, I can add another task. 
and now go to accounts payable, main, and add vendor maintenance. Right click, new, task, accounts payable, main, and invoice data entry. So now I have just the tasks separated that I have want here. I can also right click, make a folder, and in that folder, if I choose, add a program. And a program in this case from the desktop, maybe I want to add uh, Google Chrome. Or perhaps I have other programs on my desktop that I want to add. You can add any Windows shortcuts, uh, any kind of if you know where any uh, application is, you can add them to your menu. Now these also, from here or anywhere, can be dragged up to the top, and that can be done from either menu. So if I wanted to run my aging, I could simply drag it up and leave it up at the top. So the My Tasks or Favorites, are two different ways if you want that you can launch programs and make a menu that's easy for you. Should you have any other questions about how to use the favorites or my tasks, please reach out to your account manager or Lisa Margolis, our consulting manager, or myself, Andrew Crane. And we'd be more than happy to show you any other ways that you can make Sage 100 work for you more efficiently. Thank you very much.